What do you think would happen if there were giant cats? Huh? What's that? You know, like, what do you think would happen if there were these giant cats, like, as big as people or bigger? You think we'd ride them as horses, or would they just take us over and make us their slaves? Giant cats? You mean, like, tigers? No, well, yeah, but in real life. Bet Boogers here would put in a good word for us. Probably get us some cushy janitorial job or something. God, it would rule to get put in the harem. Wait, what? Aw, oh, crap, I lost my place. Oh, <laughs> 63, you devil. You need help with that, bud? Nope, just finished. Guests? Is it Wednesday already? Good day, blunts. Oh, that's an amazing accent. Where are you from? Um, Australia, mate. Australia, that sounds beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it does. We should so go sometime. Don't. What? You always say we're going to go somewhere or do something, but we never do. What? Like when? Like when you said we were going to go to the cannery and we didn't, for starters. First of all, I took you lost in for canning when you fed on my cured meats that pack of dogs. All right, fine. I guess I'm the only one who's been able to withstand the trials, nay, gauntlet of peer pressure up to now. Bill. But whatever. Hey, you. Hey. With that pack of dogs in the past. Besides, I mean it this time. You do? We're actually going to Australia? Yes! <laughs> Mates! I hate to conjure the wall up here, but I came by to warn you about something. Look, I live a house down, and between you and me, mates, I run a little petting zoo out of the backyard with a few beasts from the native land. Kids go crazy for it, and I make a few bucks on the side. Anyway, one of my brown snakes may have gotten loose. You mean like an asp? No, a brown snake. See, one got loose last night. Don't exactly keep a tally of the damn things. They breed like buggers, you know? No. Is that a lot? <laughs> anyway, if you do see one, do not attempt to catch it on your own. The things are damn deadly. One bite, and you're trumped. They usually take to the cooler places like the garage or bathroom or somewhere. I don't know. Shouldn't we call like animal control the extermination? No need, mate. You see, species isn't exactly indigenous. Could lead to serious problems, maybe even deportation. Just give me a holler and I'll take it. I don't know. I mean, if we find one, we should probably alert the authorities or something. Look, do as I say, mate. Or I'm gonna cut you up. I'll cut you here or here. Or maybe across the belly, spilling your intestines. And then I'll feed you to the dingoes. All right, all right. Wait, you have dingoes? A whole pack, mate. And they've been acting rabid ever since some damn knob off fed them a shitload of cured meat. I can barely go near myself. So don't you go calling no animal control or nothing, and nothing will happen to nobody. All right, all right, we'll call you if we see any ass. <laughs> Roy, big, brown, snake. See that you do, mate, see that you do. Good day. Wow. I know, right? He seems so. Good. Yeah, he had a kind heart. An old soul. He looks good, but I bet he just takes care of himself. I bet it's that healthy Australian son. Oh, I hope so. It's the third time that's happened. To die, to sleep, no more. And by sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consumma consummation devoutly. What are you doing? Just taking a few precautions just in case we get a break in from our brown friend. Jamal? No, the snake! Bushman says he's gonna come into the garage of the window, right? And none of our windows close. It's the perfect entrance for an attack. So, what are we gonna do? Well, I figure, if we turn all the locks and the doors around, we can trap it inside. See? 
really think a snake's gonna be using a doorknob? Well, that's the beauty of it. We put the locks on the other side and completely take the doorknob out of the equation, and they become completely useless to whoever's inside. Wait, so you're saying that now that you've done this, we can lock anything or anybody in here? Yeah, but we should really only use another brown snake. Right, brown snake. What? Uh, nothing. Um, see you later. Oh, Jamal. You always know the perfect sentiment to warm my tired old heart. Jamal, I'm gonna have to call you right back, old friend. Adam? What's wrong? It's the brown snake. It's in here with me. Oh God, Brian, please help. All right, hide your dinners. I'm coming in. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> oh, God damn it, Adam. <laughs> Get it? Brown snake. <laughs> Let me out, Adam. Let me out. <laughs> okay, Adam, you're freaking hilarious. Now let me out, you son of a bitch. Never. Adam! Adam! <laughs> Good night. I don't know, Jamal. He's been a real fuss bucket ever since I played that prank on him. Yeah, he canceled the last three hot dog nights. I had so much meat left over, I had to start throwing it in the neighbor's yard. Well, he's been keeping to himself mainly, doing crosswords. I got one right here. There's just lines, no words. This kid's got some learning disabilities. What's what's that? Oh, you think he's being a cracker ass? Cracker ass, I like that. Ah! Uh, hold on, I think he's trying to get me back. Can I call you back? All right, bye. You all right, buddy? The, the brown snake is really in here with me. All right, I'm coming in. Oh, Adam, there's uh, an article in here about our neighbor. Really? What does it say? It says that the police raided his home early Sunday morning after they had received several reports from neighbors complaining about being kept awake by the sound of somebody being eaten. Uh, like the culprit for the killings were a pack of dingoes who were also found deceased in the scene, uh, except for the one labeled the nondescript plural brown snakes. That cage was empty. That's crazy. Did it say what killed the dingoes? It says that an necropsy found that their death was likely caused by a unique strain of E. coli. It is thought that they contracted the strain by consuming several pounds of rancid hot dogs, which were found in their stomach, along with pieces of the Bushman's face and genitals. Oh, E. coli. That's for a cross. Hmm. Wonder what he was doing feeding them rancid hot dogs. I don't know. And I had such a good feeling about him. He was gonna take us across the outback or something. We were becoming such fast friends. Well look buddy, as the good book says, hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. All right, see you inside. Yeah. Screw you! Do you really think I'm gonna fall for that again? 
I'm not messing around here, Brian. It's between me and the door. I can't get out. You must think I'm a real piece of work, don't you? You think because I can't figure out where I'm being tricked? Or fill out everywhere in the crossword? Do you think that makes me stupid? No, Brian, I don't think any of that. Please. I'm sorry for tricking you, and I'm sorry for telling everybody about all your learning disabilities. And I'm sorry for publishing copies of your crosswords on the internet to show everybody how stupid you are. That was all wrong. I realize that. And you know what? I realize that I'm the stupid one. I was stupid for tricking you, and I was stupid for taking advantage of our friendship. I swear I'll never do it again, and I hope you'll be able to forgive me in the future, but now I need you to help me. What am I doing right now? What am I doing? What am I doing? Ryan, please! Alright, I'm coming in. Oh my god, Brian. You've got to be the stupidest person in the world. Do you know how much bran I had to eat to do that? Do you know how many times it took to get it to coil like that? Do you know how much of my own shit I've had to clean off the floor in the past week? Oh yes, sir. I went all out this time. Now listen, I know it might seem like this prank is at your expense. But just remember, I'm the one who has to clean it up in the end. Yeah, okay, Adam. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why does this have to happen to you, man? Uh, uh, Brian. Yeah. I'm sorry for being such an asp. Oh. It's okay, uh, man. Uh, get it? Asp. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty uh, funny, man. <laughs> You're covered in shit. Well, my sweet friend. A wise man once told me, hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. I'm gonna keep that dream alive.